Namaste and welcome to React Bits. Today I'm here to talk about AppRite, my new favorite open source project. It's an open source backend server for web, mobile, and Flutter developers as they have put in their website. Built with modern technology stack, still in its infancy but quite capable already. Currently, Version 0.6 is out and it's already feature packed. First, we'll look into Griff, what's already available. However, to know in details what services are available and how it helps you, check out my Flutter Plus AppRite tutorial series where I use AppRite 0.6 as a backend for a Flutter application. The link is provided in the description below. I have a local installation of AppRite here and this is the AppRite console. I have one project set up already. You can create multiple projects. That's the first feature that AppRite console provides. Let's tap into the project. So the AppRite console already has a dashboard with decent amount of metrics regarding your Project. So you can see that it gives the report of last 30 days. So what, how many requests were done, how many documents are there in the system, how many files in the storage, how many users currently active on the project, tasks, those kind of things. The console already provides various functionalities like settings where you can change the details regarding your project. You can even assign custom domains. You can invite other members to work on the project. So you can invite members by using email. Next, you can create API keys for your backend projects and you can set what access does the API key provide, what kind of access. Next, you can create webhooks and you can create tags that are cron jobs that run periodically based on the schedule you define here using the cron syntax. Next, the admin panel or console already supports user and team management. Though basic features are only basic features are available at the moment. You can add new users. You can update existing users. You can block the account. You cannot yet delete the account. Along with that, you can also check on what devices the users are logged in, what activities they have performed, like uh, the event update preference, update preference. So this kind of activity log can also be seen in the console already. And you can also add new team and update the existing team from the console. And finally, there are lots of OAuth providers for authentication that are already supported. You can turn this on and provide setup for each OAuth providers individually. So these are already available and more are coming. And finally, the admin panel or console supports managing collections and collection structures. So, this is where you plan the data structure required for your application. So a collection is like a table and inside collection, we define the fields. So we can add new document here as well. We can edit the existing document, delete the existing document as well as change the fields available in that collection. So we can add new field, field can be of type text, numeric, boolean, wildcard, and there are advanced rule set as well, email, URL, IP, markdown, uh, embedded documents. These are validated while you add data in the document and more advanced rules and validations for the fields are on its way. This is what is already in the console. Now in the API side, if we check the docs, let me zoom in a little bit. If we zoom, check the docs. So we already have API for authentication. So we can 
using using this api we can create user account we can create session that is login a user we can create session with oauth providers we can get the account of user we can get preferences we can get sessions we can get logs that we saw in the console before we can update the account name password email we can update preferences we can delete account delete session that is log out delete all sessions from all the devices create a password recovery so this is what authentication api already supports and the api for team supports getting the list of team creating team updating team adding members to the team getting team members those kind of operations database we can create document list document get a single document update the document and delete the document and also storage we can upload file list file get a file get preview we can even download the file etc and list talked but an important feature locale so you can get the locale of user by using their ip address you can automatically get the locale uh, from the request you can also get a list of all the countries you can get a list of eu countries you can get country phone codes list of country phone codes list of continents and list of currencies using the local api moreover you can also get avatars like credit card avatar browser icon country flag image url fab icon and qr code from text and this is the client side api the server side api has some additional functionalities uh, like in the database section you can even list collections get a collection update a collection create a collection and get document with collection fields those kind of things are add, added in the server api which are not in the client api due to security reasons so this is what is already available in the app right and using only these functionalities we are already capable of creating small to medium applications in using app right as our backend not only this the app right team takes security seriously so they already they have open source climb antivirus for stories uploads that uh, that scans every files that are uploaded in the stories they have ensured red limits to prevent brute force attacks and there is a built in file encryption there is also auto generated ssl certificates for upright urls and apis and abuse protection in various important apis so based on these i can say that it's already a great product ready for small to medium scale mobile and web projects moreover upright has a potential to scale even bigger thanks to its docker based microservice architecture so we can even deploy it on more complex infrastructures like kubernetes and swarm docker swarm so this is what is currently in the upright 0.6 so next version that is coming out is 0.7 and i have a test version or development version that is running locally for 0.7 some of the features are already implemented and some of the features are planned so in the next version what we can what we will be able to do in upright so in the console side there is cloud functions so one of the most notable and huge feature i believe is the cloud function that you can deploy using various languages right now node php ruby python deno and more language support will be there but these functions will allow us to run actions based on the changes in our database so if i add a function here let's say function and choose node create 
and we can see that in settings if we go to settings we can select on what events these functions will trigger or we can even schedule the functions to run on particular schedule and we can deploy these functions using node.js from console already and we can even monitor and check the logs of the function from console this is already implemented there might be few bugs because it is still in development next the user and team management in AppRite console has been updated so now in teams you can add new team that was already there but inside team you can now add member to the team and assign the role to that member directly from console without using api you can even remove the existing members you can delete the team as well so these have been already implemented in console as well and next is broadly compression support is there for storage upright is about eight times faster with this newer version because they have made huge changes to the microservice architecture they have deployed a lot more containers next for OAuth providers they have a new grid based UI that way you can view OAuth providers much easily unlike the list view in the previous version and there is a new doctor CLI so let me switch to app right folder docker compose app right doctor so there is a new doctor CLI that checks the status and that helps to debug the server setup so right now preloaded 1110 files were preloaded and one file was not loaded because it could not be found so this kind of status will help to debug the server if the server stops running and we are unable to run it again moreover so this is what is already been developed so they have more features that are planned for 0.7 and beyond those are graphql support messaging api like uh, push notifications telegram messaging slack messaging and others real-time api for getting real-time updates and project backing up using import and export that way if you set up a project locally you can export it and import it in the remote server as well and configurations api that will support for remote configurations with a b testing capabilities also to see all the changes you can head over to their github github page where it is listed the link is provided in the description below so here you can see all the changes that are merged in the 0.7 release which is not yet released is still in development and if you check their projects you can see the features that are planned for 0.7 and 0.8 what's the progress those kind of things in their github in the end i'd like to thank the upright team for such a great product i wish for their success and thank you all for watching this tutorial if you have not already do subscribe share and like the video thank you everyone